Wolf. That looks good, Chris. That looks great, baby. Um, hello all to you, usual skeptics, and um, particularly those skeptics in the BC area and those who have been watching my videos and wondering whenever I'm going to get the uh, full testing completed for the skeptic believer observer effect. Well, unfortunately, I have some uh, bad news in that respect. Um, I just found out that Dr. Barry Beierstein, head of the BC Skeptic Society, recently passed away on uh, June 25th, 2007. According to the email I received from SFU when I tried to give him my uh, phone call earlier today, um, apparently he was uh, uh, basically on, uh, at f about 5 p.m. on June 25th, 2007. Uh, professor of Psychology Barry Beierstein passed away. This was, um, anyway, there's going to be donations uh, uh, to his memorial fund at SFU and there's a memorial service. This was um, sent to me by um, the secretary at SFU, who I left a message with asking that, um, sorry, yeah, I can see 5th uh, of June, 2000, uh, 25th of June, 2007, Barry Beierstein passed away. Um, I actually found this out, uh, I got this message after I phoned uh, the BC Skeptic Society, however, and um, unfortunately, uh, there is a bit of a problem, though, in relation to testing for the, um, uh, in relation to testing for it. I talked to, um, I talked at the time to, uh, Lee Moeller, who's currently the editor of the, uh, Skeptical Inquirer for that, you know, for our area, and, uh, you know, editor of the local Skeptic Newsletter, and I asked him would he be willing to look over the protocol for me and, um, you know, and tell me whether it's possible to do testing. Um, I sent him, I forwarded him the 15-point protocol, um, that, uh, I forwarded him the 50, the full 15-point protocol, which um, uh, which basically describes how I would like to uh, further refine my telepathy experiments from instant messengers. And he wrote to me as follows: Your protocol seems reasonable. However, with the untimely death of Barry, the BC skeptics are not really in a position to carry out such an experiment. Nor can I suggest a local alternative to Barry. He was one of a kind. You might try approaching Ray Hyman at the University of Oregon. Um, uh, Ray Hyman is another prominent uh, skeptic parapsychologist. Well, I would do that, except for the fact that he's uh, a little ways away from me and I don't have the money to get out to him. However, um, I am going to try, um, this will not stymie me, I'm going to try to talk to Ray. Um, I'm still going to uh, call Ray up, uh, send him an email as well, and try to see if he and I can work out something mutually with uh, uh, UVic uh, locally to uh, get me tested uh, finally once and for all for um, telepathy and simultaneously for the skeptic believer observer uh, slash experimenter effect. Hopefully, um, my condolences to everyone who knew Dr. Beierstein for, uh, on his death. And uh, I'm a little shocked myself that the man had a sudden heart attack. But um, we can't, uh, unfortunately, you know, um, now we have to do it in his memory that, uh, that we have to try to solve this issue of parapsychology once and for all, pushing forward the boundaries of science and hopefully um, solving basically the greatest issue confronting us in relation to religion, spirituality, and science. Uh, once that's solved, hopefully we can move on with more important things. But it's still at the same time, we can also make this as a dedication to Barry um, in one way or another. Anyway, thanks a bunch, people, and I'm sorry for letting you know the bad news.